What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. Okay, so there are five things that men are going to do to try to fight the 4B movement. One of them is going to be terror. They're going to use terror to threaten women. They're going to try to scare women, but telling us all the things they're going to do to us. And some of them are going to actually act out these things. So you're right, it would be good to get your self-defense strategies ready. Thing number two will be sour grapes. Oh, we didn't want you ladies anyway. Y'all are over 30. Y'all are used up. Just that third thing that they're going to do is attempt to appeal to and exploit feminine empathy. Y'all are really being selfish. You're really hurting people. You women don't care about what this is doing to the world, to um, the male loneliness epidemic. This is pretty much just the, the baby crying. You know, if you're black, we all black people need to come together. We can't keep doing this gender war thing. Thing number four is going to be attempting to start movements of their own, which they've already done. Well, everything I'm saying they've already done and are already doing, but um, this one will be short-lived because... Tell me you're alone without telling me you're alone. They don't have a good reason for wanting to divest from romantic relationships with women. And, and they've never been in romantic relationships with women. They've just been exploiting women. Collectively speaking, on an individual basis, you know, I can't speak to that. Well, if men control access to relationships and women control access to sex, and if guys have been getting that from you, have you been, like, exploiting yourself? We can't get it unless you give it, right? Collectively, collectively speaking, uh, fabricated romance has the been... The 4B movement, guys, we're going to start the 5C movement. <laughs> pretty much a collective exploitation of feminine energy in women. Number five, the, the fifth thing that they're going to do when all else fails is call daddy. Dad is the law. This is happening now as well. Reproductive rights being taken away from women. That's the boys calling. I don't think any have been taken away. And daddy in in order to force mom to stay. We're we're seeing it all play out, but um, it's really interesting. Okay, it's, it's crazy work to me because I preach relationships on this channel. I think we're better together, and together we're better. The point of it is just to bring us all together because there's a massive divide right now. But a lot of the times I see even men, when men are hating on women, I'm like, bro, chill out. We got here from men and women procreating. Like this is what we need to keep doing for society. But it's just crazy to see like both sides hate on each other so much. It's wild. Okay. So let me get this straight. The 4B movement are women who are holding out sex and breaking up and divorcing with their husbands and boyfriends so that they don't get pregnant. You guys are holding back the tang and practicing safe sex, which you should have been doing all along, so you don't get pregnant. So before, everybody was just raw dogging it, just taking a chance and then going to the to the clinic and getting an abortion. What, what kind of fucking sense does this make? How reckless can you be? Huh? So now you guys want to practice safe sex by having- Loki, what are you doing? You want some beef jerky? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Having abstinence. Cool. Awesome. Good for you guys. You guys are fucking geniuses. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries. From car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases. Which is why I want to talk about Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases. And they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. I'd like to propose an amendment to the 4B movement. And that amendment will state that there will be no going back and forth with men in our comments on social media. Y'all have to understand that men like this, their sole purpose in life is to harvest energy from women. And if they can't harvest your energy through labor, through having their kids, through having 
relations with them and relationships with them, they're going to be harvesting your energy via your emotions. And that's exactly what you're giving them when you're going back and forth with them in your comments. Just stop. Learn how to block, delete, ignore whatever you have to do to protect your energy because they're coming for it. But the good thing is is they're like vampires okay they can't come in unless they're invited so stop inviting them by arguing with them in your comments because it's like you offering up your energy on a silver platter like they're literally men who sit up and troll the internet just so they can get a reaction out of you every single day stop letting them i'd like to propose an amendment to the 4b movement let's hear it and that amendment will state that there will be no going back and forth with men in our comments on social media. Have you noticed the common narrative with most of these women is to just leave them alone entirely? Stop going back and forth with men. Stop talking to men. Ignore them. It's funny that that's the case because it's actually doing exactly what men want. We don't want to go back and forth with you. We don't want to talk to you, so you're actually... It's so crazy to me that they don't see the, how they're actually helping the cause. Like, get the women out of the dating pool that don't want to deal with men, and get the women that do want to deal with men in the dating pool. As much as I hate to say it, a 4B movement is not going to happen in the United States. Okay. The fact of the matter is that white women, 60% of them voted for that man because they benefit from white supremacy. They didn't vote against their interests. It is in their interest to vote for that man. What I do think might happen most likely is that there'll be a decline in birth rates. Let's look at these numbers because I think there's already a decline in birth rates. Um, birth rates in America chart. Let's just let's just let's just look at it, dude. I'm pretty sure there's already a pretty big decline here. Um, but yeah, let's look at it. Um, what is this? Yeah, 1950s, 1970s, 1980s. Yeah, man, it's just, it's kind of going down. Uh, it doesn't look like, like, here we are right now, it's just been going down. But I think this is a direct correlation with the cost of living. I don't know, chat, let me know. Do, do you agree with that? Or is my take stupid? Stupid? Uh, it could be stupid, which, you know, I'll take, I'll take being stupid all day because you guys know I am. But, um, it could be the economy. It could be that it's too expensive, or it could be that the feminist movement really picked up in the 70s and it started that. So who, who knows? Maybe it's a, com a culmination of both. I don't know. As more and more women die from miscarriages that are totally preventable, that abortion could have saved their life. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Um, uh, percentage of women that die from miscarriages. Let's just see. Uh, according to Danish cohort study, the mortality rate for women who miscarry is 19.2 deaths per 10,000 person years. I don't know what that means. The study found that women who experience pregnancy loss of a 4 per 100 women risk of all-cause mortality. So what is that, a 4%? Death rates from all causes were comparable for women with uh, out a history of a miscarriage, 1.2 for 1.24 per 1,000 person years in both groups. Person years? What does that mean? Um... Let's see here. Okay, let's see. What is the number one cause of death for pregnant women? Women in the U.S. are more likely to be murdered during pregnancy or soon after the childbirth to die from the three leading up. I don't even know how to say that word. High blood pressure disorders, hemorrhage, or sepsis. Those are the three highest. Um, so I don't know. I just wanted to look that up because, you know, there's a lot of things I don't know. So sometimes it's good to inform yourselves. I think people are going to realize what the risk is here. The fact of the matter is that the rise in fascism, the implementation of aspects... She's really hitting all the buzzwords. Fascism, Project 25. ...of Project 2025 is going to... I bet the patriarchy's next. ...to scare the shit out of a lot of people. A lot of women, specifically. Like, they want to get rid of the Department of Education. A lot of people won't have the funds to provide a sufficient, high-quality education to their children. A lot of people won't be able to afford child care. They can't, they can't even afford child care now. I was, I was about to say, child care right now is expensive. What are you talking about? Um, and it's only going to get worse from here. The effects of climate change are going to be more and more apparent. 
um, Florida is probably going under and women aren't going to want to bring that. They're not going to want to bring kids into the world. Well, I hope people that don't have a nihilistic view on the world want to bring children in the world. I hope people that are positive, energetic, optimistic want to bring children in the world because um, times have been hard. Times were hard during the Black Plague. Times were hard in the Industrial Revolution. Times were hard 200 years ago, but they still brought kids in the world. So um, the amount of privilege that you live in to be able to own a car, drive a car, go to work, wear this lock around your neck, go get an education where you could potentially get a scholarship, get mascara made that you know they can send to you. The amount of privilege that you have right now in this world where you don't have to hunt, you don't have to harvest, you don't have to bear nine or ten children and live on a farm is absolutely wild to me. Like, Privilege is always blind to those who have it, though. Not with how scary things are getting. At the end of the day, just be careful in choosing your partners. Avoid sex hookups as much as you possibly can unless you... I mean, that is actually good advice. You guys should have been doing that from the jump. Why is this new? know that that person is trustworthy and is willing to support you and help you in any way that they can yeah because we don't want you to become a single mom i just looked up what the 4b movement is and i literally fell to the ground crying <sighs> are you in your closet i had finally pulled myself together today because we actually are First comment, where the F are you living? Here in the USA, I have the same rights as a man. I'm a homeowner and a business owner all on my own. Get a clue and, oh, you can still, ooh, unalive an unborn child. Wake up. Dangerous situation aside. As oh, much sorry. I just looked up what the, um, the news this morning about who won the election. We actually have a fire that started and it is very close to where I live. And people are now losing their homes. Very close to where I live. So I was sent home early today from work, but... That's not what this is about. I literally looked up what. The well, I heard that they were letting people, like, they gave kids, like, a grieving day at schools. Go home and grieve. What? Listen, I'm not going to dog on liberals too hard because I am promoting unity. We all need to come together. But guys, I mean girls, girls, you participating in the 4B movement harms no one but yourself. Exactly. And don't you know that... Sexual pleasure reduces stress, gives you clearer complexion. I mean, love is really good, too. Facts. But us conservative girlies are not joining y'all. So, I mean, that's just more men for us. So, um, it's got a point. I mean, I have a feeling the reason you're doing 4B anyways is because you found out secretly that your boyfriend was a conservative and voted for Trump. So... At least we know that our values will align with theirs, unlike yours. But seriously, give it up, girls. We are uniting, okay? This is not the time for division. I promise you, Trump is going to do so many wonderful things. Just drop your preconceived notions that the media told you to believe. None of it is true. I promise we wouldn't support him if it was. If any of that was true, I mean, we literally will kill rape it. Oh, goodness gracious. I think I think both choices were eh. When you're only given two choices, um, what what is the South Park reference? It's between a giant douche or a turd sandwich. <laughs> um, when you're when you're only ever given two choices, it's always like, you know, I don't know, man. Like, if we really wanted to truly be fair, shouldn't we get more options? Um, shouldn't we get a lot more options? Sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Um, but it's it's just wild to me that these women don't really realize that this stuff is actually uh, affecting themselves more than it's hurting men. Um, it's just my honest opinion. If you're taking yourself out of the dating pool, you're taking yourself out of the, you know, the, the modern dating market. I mean, it's kind of okay. Um, let's see, see. Let's jump into the subreddit. This is from DesX. Liberals and Instant Karma over collect. Uh, instant Karma over. Okay, well, it's taken down. Roasting woke liberals. What is this? Um, let's see what this is. Because y'all know, dude. I don't even. I don't talk politics at all. I don't sway one way or the other. Like, it is what it is, dude. Like, politics are gonna come and go. Things are gonna change every four years, but. The one thing I preach here is relationships, building meaningful relationships, whether that's friends or with a woman um, or, or with a loved one, whatever you want. Um, I just think, you know, we need to be our best selves and provide value internally so we can provide value externally as well. She's crying.
crying. I just don't get why people are breaking down so hard. Like when Joe Biden won, I was like, all right, cool. Like he won. It's over. It is what it is. I, not there's nothing I can change about it. You know what I mean? Like the damage is done. I guess I'm. You know, I just don't get why people are freaking out so much. But I think it, I think the election is doing exactly what um, what they want it to. It's dividing people. It's not having us come together, but it's dividing us even more, which is seems like um, what the narrative typically is. Oh yeah, he won. Trump, Trump is back, 2024. baby. Trump is back, baby. God, they're just freaking out, dude. <laughs> Woman gets triggered at Trump supporter. Totally normal. <laughs> airport behavior. Blessings to you. Blessings. Hi. Here it is. Oh my God. People like that, we still need to stay positive. I don't know, man. It's just. <laughs> I just don't get it, dude. I don't get it, man. I just really don't. And the 4B movement, it just seems like it's just going to make you ladies I just looked up what even more alone. Um, it's, it's not really going to help. It's just going to make you guys go further and further into being alone. Now, if that's what you really want, like, cool, go for it. But I don't know. I feel like I'm a girl's girl because I. I just I don't I just don't get it. It's so hard for me to understand. Uh, let's pull up this clip. Really, I'm, I'm John, dude. I'm willy nilly with this episode. We're going rogue. I'm I'm going back and forth. This is the beauty of the channels. It definitely ain't perfect, bruv. Um, and y'all can see I do these one take. I don't do edits. <laughs> I feel like I'm a bad person and I don't feel like I'm a girl's girl because I cannot be participating in this 4B movement. I think I may actually be participating in the 4D movement because my husband is a six foot four finance bro who's actually a really good person and, and he wears his hat backwards and I've never ever ever had to open my own car door, I've never taken the trash out and I've never pumped my own gas, okay? And it's the gray sweatpants season. Okay, stay safe out there ladies, but I will- That's what I'm saying, there's a lot of women out there in loving relationships. They're out there thriving with their men, but every other girl's like, girl, like, you should be alone, girl. You should be a, you should be alone, girl. Oh, like, look at this, dude. What are you doing during the 4B movement? <laughs> Got the lotion in the toilet paper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this man's a clown. Oh, this man's a clown. But I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think do you think the 4B movement is here to stay, or, or do you think it's like a, more of a fad, and that like women aren't really going to uh, stick with this, and they're just going to kind of it's going to phase out, fizzle out, and then once ladies realize that they're really alone, they're going to maybe actually do something to try to get a man. I don't know. I guess we'll see though. Be moving from South Korea here in America after the election. This is due to Kamala's loss to Donald Trump in the election and their fear of their rights being stripped away. And now women on social media who want to actually do something about it as a collective have gotten together to participate in this movement. And for the first comment, this will have a positive side effect. After all, these girls in the 4B movement will stop being 304s and also reduce population. We'll need a reduced population. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> I am a woman and I hate the 4B movement. Damn, they're about to be dry. I'm sorry, this is so funny. Me and my girlfriend are laughing. Not all women are participating in the 4B movement. We hope it's a positive result. I've been in this movement for eight years and I'm very happy and have so much peace. Let's see what some of the replies are. I love it. That means there will be less. Oh, wow. Wow. Goodness gracious. Um, these comments are very scary. I'm a conservative man. My adverbs are caring and compassionate. What it means, he's taking 304s off the street already to these 4B clowns. What's your purpose on earth if you're against men? Don't live in the liberated country men achieve through men's blood. I mean, you got a point. There's a lot of violence that had to happen for us to be as peaceful, peaceful as we are now. For those of you that don't know, this movement is a vow of abstinence. And in some cases, rejecting traditional roles put onto them by society, like dating men, speaking to men, having children, getting married, and in some cases, working for men, and in more extreme cases, having any involvement with men at all. It has had success in South Korea, and some blame it for their low birth rates. It has quickly gained momentum in America, where thousands of women have vowed to be a part of the 4B movement. I want to see how many women in... um percentage of women let's see of women in south korea that are in the 4b movement let's just see if there's like a percentage um i doubt there is but i've heard it's a very very small percentage of women 
but it seems like... But bro, it's all over. What's the 5B movement? What is this? Men react to 5B, 4B. Oh yeah, Super Saiyan 7B. <laughs> Some of these women just, hey, step it up a notch. Be 10B. He, his level's over 9,000! Stupid! That's what it's gonna be, um, eventually, but... This 4B movement's actually wild to me. I, like I said, I've got like a four-part series. If you like this episode, go back. I've got three other episodes. We'll probably do... This will probably be a ten-part series because there's just so much content on this. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the two ebooks: The Four Pillars of Personality and The Four Steps to Style. They make you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.